Hello randomies, this is your boy Gizmo GX and welcome to part numero dos of the 4PV series. So if you guys have not already checked out the last episode which aired on a Tuesday, go ahead and already check that out. I know that episode did not get the best amount of views and that's a little bit to be expected, you know. I did kind of upload that video a little bit too late and also the fact that it does contain content that's very old but this is the IBA VGC version so hopefully this one gets a better result as this is kind of containing content that's pretty rather new and this league is still going on technically it's in its playoff seasons now and the time of this recording i already had my playoffs match and i won't spoil what happened but for those who are part of the iba know the results and what's to be expected on the you know in the near future but anyways right now i'm going to be covering the first half of the iba vgc matches that i have yet to upload on the channel so the match that you're actually seeing right now on the screen is my week two match i believe and let me just say before i continue on with this match or describing the matchup that we're having this or in what, we, what you're seeing on the screen let me just say there's a lot of saltiness and i'm not gonna deny it you know i've been having a lot of saltiness throughout this league and you know what i have a right no i'm just kidding i don't have any rights but whatever uh yeah i just want to say this 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 episode and the third part episode of the MPV series is gonna have a lot of saltiness I'm not gonna lie to you but anyways that aside let's get on to the match so going back we are on week two our opponent this week or actually our opponent on the screen right now is rebel trainer the coach of the renegades or roots and let me just say man this man had a very powerful team we went in i actually had a team built of and i gotta give a shout out to goki because goki has been helping me throughout this whole entire season without without that man my sanity would have been lost and just to give you a little bit more context i've been going through college and you know i'm not gonna give that lame excuse you know it's just like life shit and all that uh even though it does partly does have a factor into it but still i still try to play my very best in every match i go into as uh i was as a respect to my opponent so anyway so the team that we decided to go ahead and bring on the squad was giratina al uh serena drillo don slow bro and ente and again shout outs to goki because without that man there was no way i would have been able to build this team whatsoever even though it's not the best team that i came up with it's still a team that i can still be proud of as i'm the one even though i was helped building it i executed every move so in the end it was me playing the move so yeah i thought i'd just throw that in there and hopefully this second part of commentary doesn't sound too awkward uh just to give you a little bit inside notes uh I don't remember what was the strategy. I was trying to go for like a sun team. As you can see, there is Entei and I'm going to G Max. Actually, fun fact, uh, it, going into week two, I hardly knew anything about G Maxing and knowing the potential power that there is behind Dynamaxing. I should have just pointed that out, you know? As you can see, I really didn't take advantage of G Maxing. And this is where week two, I barely started being self aware about the G Maxing strategies as I did get blown off by uh, week one. Again, going up against Kaira Kawhi, who is by far the strongest that I face. Not to say that Rebel Trainer and uh, let's see, uh, who's uh, up next? Or next week's opponent, the one that comes up after this one, is another tough cookie, you know? But like, out of everyone i feel like personally i've the people i fought i feel like kaio kawaii is just dominating in this league i haven't seen most of his matches but by through sheer experience i i just feel it man i just feel the pressure and on just to add on to that like his team is bulky kaioga kawaii's of course uh it's very vi divergent uh not divergent that's not the word i'm looking for it's, it has a variety and it's just something that goes ham on my team and you know i'll go into 
into detail in a future episode so anyways back onto the match as you can see i'm just getting dominated and the only thing i'm very proud of this match is right here that very moment uh just a couple seconds ago i destroyed that white velto with serena with a low kick i i don't know the circumstances i don't know how i did it and i don't care how it happened i'm just i'm proud serena took down white velto you know even though white velto was a pain in my ass in the last episode if you got again if you guys have not checked out the last episode go ahead and check it out because we got dominated by a specific mon not a mon that i just mentioned a couple seconds ago but you know but that's besides the point i'm trying to plug in that episode because i want you guys to see that episode as i go into detail of why i created the series actually did i facts facts did i no nah, i don't know but anyway still go ahead and check out that episode you do not want to miss any section of the mpb series because this is in its beta and i really want to know what you guys think in the comments so let me know uh anyways uh so going into the match you're seeing right now is week three and our opponent is let's see foxator the coach of the douche do fighters I don't know what voice I was going with that. I, 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 don't blame me. I, I'm having, I'm trying to enjoy this microphone. I'm trying to see how I sound. And this is trial and error. Again, I said this solitary series is like in its beta state. The commentary is in its beta state. And again, this is like me going diving in again into voiceover. And I'm super excited to hear this. And also, I've been having trouble with background music. So if you guys know any good source for some good background voiceover music, let me know in the comment section below because I'm having trouble. I, I'm not the best. I, I, I can't find good music. I, if you checked out episode one, you already know what's up. Yeah, your boy has bad taste in music and I have difficulty finding the best one that suits it. I don't know, man. I, I, I try. Mm, and, and you know looking back i, I really want to redo uh the four the last episode of the four party series which i did record ahead of time because my memory was still a phase or how do you say it? i still remember what happened in that section of the video but now that i hear myself back i really feel like it deserves a redo uh, literally now redo a healer you know psh, uh, if you know what that is you know that reference and we're friends right we're friends if you know the reference we're friends if you don't know that reference we still friends just not as good friends as we would have been if you had known that but anyways yeah as you can see we got decimated we got decimated on the first round against foxy tour i know i'm going in all types of tangents but again this is what to, well, that's what's to be expected of a beta version of the 4 pv series actually and now that i think about it it's sounding catchy and i might actually make it into a podcast and just call it the 4 pv series for whatever reason and just because i like the way it sounds now that i say even though it's a very simple acronym it just sounds super catchy but anyways uh you know, something I do want to point out about this match is that the irony, the irony, if you don't get what I mean by irony, just, just give me a second, just give me a second and I will explain momentarily. All right. But before I do go ahead and explain that, let me know in the comment section below what you think about the podcast. Oh, it's not even a podcast. What do you think about the MPV series? Let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comment section below. Don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell to be notified of all 4PV. 4, yeah, 4PV. Okay, 4PV content onto the channel. So, yeah, I did that. It sounds a little awkward. Yeah, I'm going to get used to it. You know, I, I've never done this. You know, it feels rather weird. But anyways, going on to the point that I was going on earlier, the irony on this battle is that previously we went up against Rebel, right? And Glacier dominated with the G-Max. Now, the irony in this match is Spect here over here, my boy over here, is destroying me <laughs> with, with the same strategy, G-Max and its ability. It's, yeah, you know, it does Spect to your stuff. I think that's its real name. I hope it is. I hope I'm not butchering any Pokemon's names. I, I'd be ashamed of myself. But anyways, we lost that match as well. And it does suck. It does suck. Now, one thing that I am always forgetting in all my other... In, actually, in the last video. Uh, and I did forget to mention it in the last episode of the 4PV series. Is mention the sauce of my team. Uh, 
again every single week i do have a tendency to go ahead and nickname all my mods behind an anime and that's the, the theme i like to go with i might stop in the near future just because you know i don't want to keep it going and like gets too bland and repetitive so i might just keep it like regular names keep the same mods and then just go with the flow you know and then change and alternate every now and then so in the next series i mean in the next league that i'm ever a part of i'm definitely going to change the change things around so that way it's not the same thing over and over and over i mean i do love anime so and i have nothing against it i just want to just keep it different not keep it like consistent and all that with the nicknames as i feel like that would be rather bland but let me know what you guys think if you guys like the nicknames and you like me nickname mean after a certain anime theme then let me know in the comments all right so yeah anyways that was uh we just went through the first two matches and we lost them all right but now here comes the most epic redemption of my freaking life and i love it because the theme of this week was ari ferretta the world's strongest by far not you know you you could make the argument that the anime is the worst and you can make the anime was the best jokes that's jokes jokes ahead of time all right the anime was complete ass like it i mean it's not complete i mean i guess you can say it's complete <laughs> it, it, you could scratch the anime you know i wouldn't recommend anyone to watch the anime i recommend everyone to read the light novel i if you just don't care in, about the about like story or plot and you just want to watch it casually then Ari Ferretta's anime is definitely a huge shout to go ahead and check it out it's definitely i love the plot even though right now it's in its uh after story section which i'm still reading up to this date but anyways i don't want to go into de too much detail about that match i want to go i mean that match into that anime slash light novel slash manga slash some of the other stuff that i mentioned i don't want to spoil i might have to cut this out i don't no uh yeah i should have like a little spoiler or some crap or something like that but anyways i didn't spoil much right i didn't spoil much so whatever all right what well, what's done is done the, the damage is already done let's continue with the match with this amazing match that we're going up against my boy goki gamer the coach of the let's see uh you know we, we, we buddies and i'm forgetting coaches names and you know what they're coach of so goki's the coach of the milwaukee meta champs and yeah man again this match was you know this is like in the original recording fun facts because i decided to do a re re voiceover of this battle and in particular because i didn't like it it sounded kind of like i don't know it just sounded like fodder like some commentary that i wouldn't be proud of, of uploading onto the channel so i decided to go ahead and do it a, a redo and anyways in the original recording i was saying you know this is gonna be the peak of the rcf and believe me you know the first three matches proven that <laughs> you know i have a lot to learn but for whatever reason going into this week i you know it's goki you know he's my rival if you guys have been, haven't been keeping up with the channel just know that goki's been my long time rival like i haven't lost to him in a very long time and the only time i've ever lost to him was in my fr our first ever match was the let's go pikachu and eevee uh playthrough well yeah that match whatever yeah, but that's the last time. I just know that I, that was the last time I ever lost. And man, ever since then, I've been winning every single match for whatever reason. I think the gods want me to win. I don't know what reason. It's amazing. I love it. And this match was definitely a very tough one as double battles is something I'm rather new to. And so is Gogi, but Gogi has a little bit more experience in the Pokemon battling side as I don't have that much. And I'm surprised I'm doing this well. As you can see, in the I did unfortunately lose the first match, but going into the second match right here, I think this is the second match. Or oh, I'm tripping. Yeah, this is the second match, right? Or I'm tripping. Huh. Huh. Wait. It, wait, I am tripping, right? Wait, this is the second match. Oh my god, I am losing. Oh no. Wait. Yeah, this is the second match. Oh no, this is the third match. Holy crap. Uh, wow, wow. Yeah, wait. Hold up. Hold up. Uh, somebody's about to catch these hands. Hold up. Uh, uh, oh my god, I don't remember. Anyways, uh, one thing I do want to point out is something interesting in this video or in this matchup is that post-match 
uh after everything was decided who was the winner goki was like confused as to why the lapras was fast was slower than my slow bro despite the fact that slow bro is slower way slower than the lapras and we didn't find out until the very end that the movie he was going for was avalanche and avalanche has a negative priority which led to me actually defeating it um with a grass knot from the slow bro so that was clutch and by the way yes this was the second match <laughs> i just noticed that because uh i remember the second match being where slow bro and shia aka the serena was camping in was going in on the team so we get our second win and yeah we got one more matchup so anyways here's the deciding factor if we make it or not but anyways going back onto the conversation avalanche really played a huge role in this second match which led to my w because Slowbo picked up the kill on the Lapras and he still didn't know that until after the match after the match was decided and who took the W on that week so anyways that was phenomenal I loved it <laughs> I, I love the W's you know by far I am proud whether what happens in the future of this series uh towards I mean the, the last part of the 4 PV series is what I'm referring to whatever the results happen in that I don't want to spoil anything I'm just very proud. This is probably my greatest accomplishment. My greatest performance on the season is this match right here. It is so much like I literally had to use my IQ points. I was nervous. I was sweating. This man had me drain every ounce of my energy to the point where I was very quiet in the original commentary. I was like, oh my God, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? How am I going to beat this man? This man is a legend. He is known as one of the top battlers in some league. I am so sorry, Goki, if I am misinterpreting your hypeness, but I'm trying to hype you, man. I got to hype you, man, because you're my rival. I got to hype you up to the utter max. Now, going back into this team build, uh, one interesting mod that I am very... It's actually the only time I actually bring it. So, because Miu does have its Miu, aka the Morpeko, I think it's Morpeko, this is original name. Morpeko is a very interesting mod as it does have some assets to it, as like Fake Out. Uh, if you play it correctly, it could do a huge amount of damage. What I try, which I did use it effectively using the Focus Sash, as Morpeko is a very frail boy and it could deal the damage, as you can see, and it could raise its speed sets because of Aurora Wheel has a possible chance of increasing the speed i believe don't quote me on that you know i'm not a master of pokemon but yes <laughs> it has the potential so it really does create a lot of hazards on the screen so anyways as you can see we click we picked up the w at the end of the day so i'm very proud of my performance on this week uh this is probably my peak as i mentioned beforehand and this is easily a good ending to a wonderful video of the second part of the mpv series so if you made it this far into the video let me know in the comments section below i know i mentioned that a lot of times but i really do want to emphasize the comments as comments do also support me on the algorithm along with dropping down a like and also if you hit that subscribe button and you hit the notification bell you're definitely gonna help your boy out all right i'm trying to get 100 subs i'm trying to get a little bit of motivation over here i'm gonna cry i'm gonna cry if i don't get a hundred subscribers by the end of june <laughs> so please support your boy share this on twitter share this on instagram share this on bro i mean i mean i share this on everywhere and every platform share it on reddit <laughs> all support is greatly appreciated anyways this has been your host gizmo gx and i'll see you on the next one if you got that inside joke um well joke you know what you know what you know you know what i mean you know what i mean even if you don't know what i mean you know what i mean anyways i'm gonna get out of here before i go on another tangent this has been gizmo and i'll see you on the next one randomies peace also episode three will be going on a friday this one will be going up later on today on thursday because i'm recording this on a thursday so hopefully fingers crossed this gets up later on tonight so or later on in the afternoon because it's 1 a.m in the morning and i need to get it edit this real quick and put some music and upload. Anyways, bye. Ooh.